Hello everyone. <clears throat> Let's. I haven't actually seen these two play in quite a while. I think the last set I've seen between these two was um God, it might have actually been that bam. Way, way back. I mean, Ruben's always been decent against Pink. Like, I don't know, it's like, I feel like... Hey, Monk. Um... I mean, it was ages ago, back when I played Peach against Ruben, but... I, Ruben typically went, um... Falcon for that, but... So we might see, we might see the cheeky Falcon if the, um... Samus doesn't work out. But obviously very... Yeah, I mean, she's pretty good against Samus. It's, um, it's not exactly much practice, really, right now. It's like, I guess you have, you have Gulu now, so that's at least something. Which, I mean, you know, Samus on a New Zealand connection. Not always ideal, but it's better than nothing. I'll take it. Hello, joining me is Swagman. Hey, guys. Um, I just went 0 2. Wait, no, 1 2. But I. First tournament on box. I feel like I'm like 50% of the man I was was on keyboard. Really? So like, yeah, no, I, I didn't feel so bad about it. I kept um, Falcon punching off the side of the stage because I keep forgetting the up buttons over here. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. What is up with that? So my, normally I had WASD, so I'm, I'm used to going like... Yeah, you know, but it's actually like... I yeah. had to press this, so I kept killing myself. But otherwise, you know, Caleb, there was a lot of fear in Caleb's heart. You can tell when Caleb's playing scared. Uh, so what you're saying is you think like 100%, maybe not even 100%, 80% swag man is going to... I'm telling you, like, give me a week or two. I'm going to... What's that major? Are oh, you going to Sunnyside Up? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. Got it, you know, for the homies. And also Sock and Goody or whatever, McLeod and Microsoft J. Not McLeod, not Sock probably. Goody and Microsoft J are going. Oh, that's uh, really cool. Ron Lee uh, and Lax have to. Probably Snow Pop, probably Nico. Well, they're just mutual. They're, they're obligated. They're both obligated. They have I, they, I, I do, actually. I really hope Psych doesn't go. Uh, don't like that guy. You don't like Psych? Yeah, yeah look, you know. A dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I Otherwise, feel like, I feel like... Jeff Fantastic's not going either. I think she's avoiding me because she owes me so much money. Really? Yeah. From what? Pizza and drinks. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I even like money. <laughs> Just or no, no. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you lived in Queensland. Um... What's Jeff T said, I think Sock's coming. Oh, wait, okay, Sock is gone. That's pretty good. You can only tell Caleb is scared because the safe bed at all times. Look, there's been a bit more courage in Caleb's <laughs> heart recently. <laughs> there's been... I don't know, dude. I really just don't think that melee is as difficult as people make it out to be, you know? There's like... You know when, like, someone comes along and learns the game in, like, six months, and then they're, like, a lot better than, like, our mid and shit levels? Yeah. Like, I realized sort of. that I it's You know what I mean, kind of. Like, it's very bit, a little bit longer than six months, but I get what you it's mean. It's longer than six months. That's sure. long. Rosario Flame has, like, try tried to do that, but, like, it didn't work because uh, all Rosario Flame did was, like, pay attention. And, like, all the low tiers that Rosario Flame is breezing past just don't pay attention. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. There's, like, a big chunk of the community that you can get better than just by, like... Screen. Yeah, just like actually playing not, the video not game. Not bombing in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Making out of pools is so stupid because everyone acts like it's an achievement. But if you drown in pools, like you should retire. <laughs> so uh, hard. see, this so is this is the problem now. This is the problem. Toxic. This is the problem. Toxic swagman. <laughs> a swagman is made out of pools. <laughs> it's like the classic. Yeah. Um, anyone below you is a scrub. Anyone Every, above yes. you is a no life. Yes, without right a now, doubt. Everyone so right above me is an asshole who plays this game too yeah. much. And anyone below me should have never touched the game. Yeah, exactly. So now that you've made out pools and that in your the, the new bar, yeah. that's the new bar. That's anyone below bar. that, before you, beforehand, you were just like, ah, you know. I mean, it's hard making out of pools. So. <laughs> it's difficult. You have to be yeah. a real fucking no to have them, you know. But no, in reality, uh, pools has never honestly been. I've been fan of pools for fun. To take it out. What'd you get? Uh, you got out first, second? No, I got him out second. That's what I had before. The, um, the Luigi was my first oh. But um, RNG really put that guy... R watching oh. RNG Hobo was actually really sick. It was just like... He just... So understood that matchup and just... You really want to take out? That's a great question. Um, 
And it, 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 do I have like a long-term answers or realistic answers? And like, do you mean statewide or do you mean like at ages? Because statewide, uh, right now, I'm gonna be Kyle next time we play. That's what I, I was about to say. You were like, Kyle is your goal. Uh, I'm gonna be Kyle, and it's not like it's just so soon. I just realized a lot about Kyle's play. I'm really glad we have this. I'm really glad we have this um common, this little voice line right here because if you never actually do beat Kyle, and I, and I can I can just have that. Oh, and, and we're gonna have a part gonna, two. Yeah, we'll have a next part birthday. Two. Yeah, next birthday. We like a year, <laughs> of, a year of Kyle Swagman. Yeah, look, I'm just look, saying. No, I, you know what? Respect I was, to I was, people who like actually make a goal and say that, like say it out loud, because everyone could just be like, oh, you know, I think I'll do okay and be sit on the no, edge and all that. Like, take someone I wouldn't actually, say like, it if I didn't mean it. I, okay, yeah. I'll explain the thought process. I was like under the influence at some night, and I was playing a guy named Blood Ninja, and he's like always on unranked for like the last since Slippy came out, and he's notoriously just been bad, but he's a really nice guy. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One zero in the crowd's favor. Yep. Um, we have, um, so blood uh, we have, we have, we have, we have already failed. We had one. It was already, the info was already entered in, but like I adjusted little cameras. We had one job. One yeah, job. We, we already failed up. it. We fucked up. That's yeah. actually, you know, how life goes on. Anyway. Uh, basically, what I was saying is Blood Ninja was. Is, Ever since I started playing melee, I've been beating Blood Ninja on Unranked. And I ran to Blood Ninja like a month or two ago, and I'm just getting the shit kicked out of me because I'm so like under the influence. Oh. Oh, nice. This is actually. Wait, did Yellow win? Dude, Yellow might just beat all the Peaches and just win the whole thing. Wait, tournament. Yellow beat. Oh, uh -huh. I was about to say. Alright, you have We'll probably have you. Uh, we'll probably you uh, that, anyway. The Blood Ninja story may never be finished. I'll try to wrap it up really quickly so no finished. one interrupts no, us. Um, but I'm trying not to interrupt myself as well. So, uh, Blood Ninja. I'm really like high, and he's beating the hell out of me, and I'm like, dude, this guy sucks, why am I losing? It's cause I'm losing. But then I realized, like, uh, I got grabbed, and I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, I landed right in front of him with a stomp, and he was shielded, and I missed his shield. And even if I hit his shield, I'm getting shield grabbed every time. Yeah. I land right in front of him with the laggiest stomp ever, and I'm like, oh, he's gonna grab me, it's over. And then he down smashed, and I was like, that's such a bad option. This guy is so bad, I would have done this and this and that, and then like, when those things clicked together and I realized that the person I was playing was a human being who was very, very flawed. I just couldn't not free or force stock him, despite the fact that I didn't sober up at all. It just like clicked. And then one time I was playing Kyle and the same thing happened where I'm re covering low and every time I recover low against, against McLeod, McLeod would grab the ledge off me because uh, McLeod would just like wave dash or like float to ledge or whatever. Sure. And I'll just die because Falcon doesn't have a hitbox in his recovery, so yeah. you know, it, even if you're late to ledge, it doesn't matter, I'm fucking dead if I go low, so you, so go you, can, you can react to low, and so, so I'm going low against Kyle, and I'm like, oh, it's over, Kyle's grabbing ledge, but then Kyle down smashed, and I teched it, and I got back, and I was like, why would you do that, why would you do that, just grab the fucking ledge, and the moment someone does something that I know better than them, it's over for them, because you, you, you can't let me think I'm better than you. That's where the downfall begins, and that's why Tid made that mistake of like complaining about Falcon Samus. It gave me hope, and then that was it. That I, was that. I have to that, be able to believe. Okay. And so then you're, very able to you're a very emotional player. Oh yeah, we got like... I think I have like limitless talent. You know what? How many hours have you played in this game? Oh, so second? many, so many. You could. I, 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 I doubt I've played a tenth of your hours. And I barely touched this game. Oh, almost certainly. I hate but this there's game. a um. I would say that argument is more than a I feel like people, before a certain period of time, people were playing, people were always just playing friendly. There was no, like, dedicated, there was no Uncle Punch. Okay, there was that's no, true. But okay, even, so even then, Uncle Punch, that's not even an actual argument. Like, wait, this is 1-1 one, one, though. Ooh, wait, that was... Okay, well, <laughs> it's not, I'll be honest. Neither of these players are going to come back to the uh, these mods and expect... What great commentary? They're not watching No, no, they don't expect uh, analytical commentary from this. Anyway, going back. Um, no, I mean, Uncle Punch and, like, 20 has been out for ages. So, like, yeah. um, 
but that doesn't mean that I've spent that time no. doing dedicated. Like I had, I downloaded Uncle Punch train. for the first time yesterday because I got my box and I wanted to learn how to ledge dash. So I thought it would be easier on box than it was on my keyboard, and I want to get like Galint frames or whatever. Sure. The that pose, those rare magical glint frames. Well, because like no one does ledge dashes. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe, no, maybe they do. no. Some no, people probably I, do it. What but do you mean? Everyone in SA does ledge. Everyone in SA does ledge dash. I can't tell when someone's ledge dash is real or not. So. I would say what? I mean, even the only one that I've ever seen like genuinely like make my move go through them was like Kai once. We haven't played in a while, have we? No. Okay. Well. And also like. I don't know if I ever am in a situation where you're on ledge and on I'm ledge, on stage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like like threatening and right. you know. So I don't know. Like the better I get at the game, I realize I'm being held back by my like I'm just so lazy and I procrastinate and I don't like grinding. And you kind of have to lab in this game. There is solo practice as a part of this game, and I'm hitting the wall of not being not solo practice. Vince Swag just have a big thing about looking at stuff. <laughs> uh, yes. But the thing is, you don't actually have to look at the screen. That's a that's a way of playing the game. And if you're a competitor in a game, you have something to prove, right? Like when you play this game, you have something you want to show and something you want to say. And what I want to sure. say is that reacting to things is like one of the few paths to success. All right, so you're. I mean, no, I, I get that. I get where you're coming from. Like, there still is obviously a proactive element where you um. Say, look what if you screen. just read every single thing that your opponent was going to do? You'd be the best player in the world. It's a terrible way to go in, though. What if I could just read inputs like a fucking script? Well, you can't. No, but and like you can say that you can say that you have an understanding of, say, what they're going to do. But that typically occurs after a certain amount, say, five, ten, depending on. Um, My brain works really quick. I got a quick brain. H hit me with an you, equation. You. Hit me with an equation right a now. A mathematical equation. Go. I have time. You realize that finan financial math okay, hit extends me with a, beyond hit me with a, a, I, I dropped out of high school, so don't make it too hard. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, no, you, I'm going the opposite way. What do you think? Financial math is very basic to an extent. Get Brad to, like, I'm relearning musket appreciation. Good. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what? Going I on never... comms with me is actually like a PR boost, dude. PR because you can never, whatever you say, it always like makes you look better if you're on, if you're on comms with me. That's sound understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go high school dropouts. I actually think high school dropouts are... Uh... No, no, actually no. Majority Caleb, of them are quite annoying. Caleb used to have... Obviously Caleb, Caleb um, graduated high school, but Caleb used to wear a um, levers. A Levers um, jacket. I'd always joke that it was like the official school jacket of um, the out. official school jacket of like people who dropped out. So if you dropped out, they give you a little jacket that said Levers. And it would have like a hundred random names from people that dropped out. And I was he always got really annoyed. It's like, no, that's not what it is. That's very sweet. Caleb's a very sweet young man. <laughs> like. It's like, that's, why, that's why beating him is so hard. It's because like you know that you can do it, but if you do, it'll break his heart. No, I mean, but yeah, <laughs> I'm like good. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, no way. I can't do it to the guy. Too bad. It's you or me. <laughs> if we, uh, if he ever plays me at a major, it's fucking lights out. But like, I can't do it to him at a local, dude. This is just not cool. Ah, uh, so I see. So that's why you lost. It's well, a John. It was the, it, that's it's what they call a John. But yeah, it's, it's oh, my John. A, a John, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Well, gee whiz, mister. <laughs> Shucks. Imagine how Kyle was. Amazing. Felt. I bet Kyle... Kyle's a sick freak. <laughs> Kyle gets too much pleasure out of beating people. Kyle. <laughs> when I play this game and I beat someone I like, it feels bad. I, I had to hug Tit after our match. Probably the worst pop-off ever is hugging the guy you just beat who wants nothing to do with you. I actually hate... I actually hate the hug. Yeah, no, it was a bad pop-off. if, um... It's like, if the person that loses hugs and initiates, then that's all great, but like, the loser should always be the one initiating. That's so true. I won and I gave that motherfucker the biggest hug of, of yeah. his life. And you know what? He says he's okay with it because, you know, he's a cool guy. But yeah, I feel like he's Oh, yeah, no. Tit. Tit is a lovely human being. <laughs> great dude. That's why beating oh. him is so, like, it's upsetting. But, oh, you know, Tit. Oh. I'll, I'll let him win at, the at the moment, he, I, at the moment, he was probably 
roiling. I can't imagine a world where you get that, like, you get hugged there and you just, like... You get too old, too stuffed by a psych man, he stands up and hugs you, like, that's, that's, that's life right I think the saltiest I've ever been is when someone hugged me, um, <laughs> in a P, in a P plus, no, oh, PM, way back. Um, it was a game watch player called Mario, uh, Mario Bro. He, like, I think it was to get into top eight or whatever. He, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Won, won the set. It wasn't even that, like... I'm just, I was terrible against Game Watch. It wasn't even that close of a set. He won. He just started like going, like really popping off, and then like hugging. Do you know each other like, well? Me. No, because nah, me and Tid really. know each other well. Is is Liz here? Is Riz here yet? Also, thank you, Monkey. That was a lot of fun. That video was very fun to um to make. I was like, look, everyone. I uh, actually showed it to because Kyle had a little um mini party oh, cool. thing beforehand. So I showed it I to I must everyone. have lost my invite. I must have not made it. Oh, you know, look, 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 they're very, very close. Very <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was mostly um, him and the uh, book club. That little, like, you know, Holy like, shit. bob -Bomb's just not cool, dude. Free bob are you know, they're not cool. They're only cool for me, but they're only cool when Kyle does it. When Kyle dude. gets a bob I'm like, yeah, I let's think go, Kyle. UCF. I reckon UCF. Oh, I a Stitch as well. Uh, you're already down, you're already behind, you already got- that's act- that feels so demoralizing to play against. <laughs> you worked hard in this like slower paced matchup to- Oh, yeah, this is... oh wait, oh and then it just disappears all- <laughs> you're like, yo, thanks for nothing. This is yeah, really sad. Integrity of this game. If I'm Nangs here, I'm playing Falcon. If I'm Swagman here, I'm playing Falcon as well. Now that if I'm I think Nancy, about it. I'm probably not playing Falcon because it's going to be over pretty soon. <laughs> maybe. Well, no, you're not maybe, playing. Maybe next Definitely time. Definitely not. Maybe. What I'm saying is, like, I think this character sucks. I really don't think Samus is anywhere near the top half of the fucking oh. tier list. I think she's really bad. Um, and I think anybody who plays her, like, just doesn't play melee. Like, you just go play a different game because oh. you know, you know, it's like Falcos who spam laser and then they get forced to play neutral and they're like, what's going on? Well, That's like Samus, but like the entirety of the character. Just like, just, just let the Metroid Prime fans enjoy their, like, What about Metroid Dread? Slidey. Did you play Dread? I did play Dread. I enjoyed and that it was all right. Didn't get quite as, um, quite as hooked into it as, say, some people that were like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Like, it's always fun. Yeah, it was all right. Did you play Hollow Knight? No, oh, I love Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight was Hollow Knight was a game that I got super sucked into. Okay. Yeah, huge Hollow Knight fan. Shout out to Hollow Knight. He beats one Samus. I'll have you know, I beat the best Samus in Australia yeah. by some metrics. Ah, uh, you know, uh, by what metrics? Activity. Sure. PR placement. This, this, is the, this is the problem. Nah, I, we can't ever let you get PR. No, you get, you can't ever, we can't ever let you get high SAPR. No, once, you're, really once you're making like winners finals, oh, even winners semis, it's too, over. Man. I'm just saying. Alright, I believe next we'll have... I assume Kai and... I'm not Kai. Uh, Caleb and Fred. Yeah. Man.